time for the executive edge, and we are sticking with the markets. <laughs> We've been watching the green arrows across the board in Europe this morning as well, but the open there was marred by a trading delay in London. Juliana Tannelbaum joins us right now from CNBC's London Bureau. And Juliana, what can you tell us about what happened? Well, good morning, Becky. Yeah, as you said, the UK stocks, uh, they got off to a rough start. The London Stock Exchange experienced some technical difficulties that delayed the start of trade for the FTSE 100 and the FTSE 250. And now those stocks uh, are trading and we are seeing the FTSE 100 rally right alongside the rest of Europe. So as you can see here beside me, uh, some pretty decent gains coming together in the European session. This follows a volatile week for European equities, of course, very closely tracking what we saw stateside. I want to take you to uh, the yield space, though, here in Europe. But we've seen global, we, we've seen uh, European bond yields uh, plummet to record lows uh, across the board here. And yesterday, we heard from Ollie Wren, one of the key members of the European Central Bank, calling for a significant stimulus package from the ECB. And this has driven uh, bond yields lower uh, across the curve. The 10-year German Bund now trading at negative 0.69%. One other thing I want to flag for you in the yield space here in Europe. We've had so much focus on the U.S. yield curve this week and the inversion that we saw there, but it wasn't the only inversion in town. In the U.K., we also saw yield curve inversion, the 30-year trading down at a record low. Currently, the 10-year gilt trading at 0.4457%. But putting it all together, it was an incredibly volatile week for European investors, but it looks like we're heading into the weekend on a relatively high note.